What's up guys, JV2017 here, and this is my Assassin's Creed Revelations Let's Play. Yes, you heard me. This is coming. I said I wasn't going to do it, but uh, I decided I am. And there's going to be something different about this Let's Play. First off, I'll click start here. Uh, there's going to be something different about this Let's Play. I am not going to post like seven a day. I'm going to try and follow the routine of one a day, and... Um, it's just gonna get done when it gets done. I'm not gonna oversaturate, uh, oversaturate my channel with this. Um, it's gonna be a fun let's play. It'll uh, it'll be a lot more manageable for me to do it that way. It's not gonna like consume your guys every single waking moment. So uh, I've already played this game, as you can tell. I'm total sync 15% on this, uh, but I'm gonna start a new game for you guys. We're gonna have a fun journey venture through this, and I've already made JV 2017, so I'll do just JV. How about that? Okay. We can keep him like this for a few days, maybe a week. Call ahead. Tell him we're on our way. Ooh, he does not look well. Sleepy Desmond. Desmond Didn't know. Miles. Your life has changed so much in so little time. Two months ago, you were pouring shots for bankers and celebrities. This is a recap. And now look at you. Of the previous case. You're an assassin. One of us. One of the good guys. Isn't that nice? Men and women dedicated to protecting and preserving human life and liberty. Not Hell like yeah. those Templars. Cold and calculating autocrats, drunk on power, obsessed with order, all that. Bastards. We're doing our best to stop them. <laughs> yeah. Doing our best. <laughs> but you remember all this, right? You remember the Animus, the machine we use to unravel genetic memories and relive the lives of our ancestors? First, you were Altair, a stoic 12th century assassin from the Holy Land. Yes, badass. Then, you were Ezio Auditore, a wealthy it. Italian with charisma and a talent for revenge. So, what do you three have in common? That's right, the Apple of Eden, <laughs> that strange artifact left behind by those people. Yes. The ones who came before. So creepy. Aliens. Oh my god. You know the apple's power. You felt it for yourself. Oh shit. I remember that. <laughs> oh, it's been fun. And the brotherhood. But that's about to change. Your mind is fragmented, falling to pieces. And if you don't find a way to wake up, you may lose yourself. Oh no. Forever. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, I shut down the Not good. monitoring system to free up a lot of memory, but okay, even like well. this, it's still risky. Desmond will be fine. The partition worked, the Animus is stable, and his signs are good. For now. But this was built to recreate memories, not simulate entire cognitive processes. The Derp. Animus will do its part, <laughs> and Desmond will do the rest. Safe mode my ass. This is really cool. That is some badass animation. That reminds me of the Matrix for some reason, you know, like going into the the letters. It's all matrixy. Also, I like this this, uh, this loading screen here. It's, you know, not that normal white kind of serene. It's really corrupted, you know, kind of gives you a feel of What's the game. I, I can't move. I, I can't. No. Oh, damn. What is this? Ladies and gentlemen, there's an ocean. Look at all those random rectangles. What's going on there? Also, they like remodeled Desmond's face and Ezio and Altair. They all look different now, which is not a bad thing. I like the change, but uh, just pointing that out. Hello? Yeah. I don't think you're going to be fighting anybody around here. Um, I want to point something out. They actually sell these sweatshirts that Desmond's wearing. I was about to buy one. I think I will buy one. They're so badass. With the eagle on the back. Freaking awesome. This place is pretty. Okay. Just walk right past me. Creeper. 16? No, they didn't tell you my name. Oh, God damn it, I'm still in the animus? What a shock. Derp Desmond. Of course you are. Rebecca! Get me out of here. They can't help <coughs> you, Desmond. You're a broken man. Your mind, it's broken. Don't trust broken. him, Desmond. I feel fine. So did I. Hey. <laughs> Look at me now. Alright. 
hate to like cut it in the middle of that, but I know you guys like the subtitles, so because I tend to talk over them sometimes. So there you go. Let's talk, buddy. You can see him below now. Okay, so subject sixteen is the guy that held all those. Me. What is this yeah, place? I'll tell you guys later. It's nice, isn't it? We're in the guts of the Animus. The original test program. No memories here, just basic physics, weather simulations. Hello, world. You're lucky someone up there hey, had sense to plug you in here. It saved your life. Saved it from what? Right now, you should be sitting in a hospital ward, drooling and chewing on your tongue. Nom, nom, now, nom. the Animus is keeping you intact. Keeping all your ancestors from collapsing into one big mess. But if you can't find a sync nexus, all those personalities will smash together. Oh, of course. That won't be pretty. A sync a nexus. Sync nexus. Totally know what that is. I'm getting there. Hold on. <laughs> there. That thing is your way out. You're screwing with me. Here's the problem. Your brain is hash. Too many ghosts in your head, too many voices. So how do you fix that? You claw your way back into the stored data, you find unfinished memories, and you crack them open. Oh, duh. Oh, I'm in. Finish what you started, until your ancestor has nothing left to show you. That is a sync nexus. Oh, yeah, of course. Finally, That's what it is. separate Desmond from Ezio and Altair and send you home. Yes. Back to your body. How do you know all this? Because it happened to me. But my body, it's worm food now. Worm food. <laughs> so I'm stuck here. A word of warning, when you step through there, everything changes. Nothing feels normal. This guy is but so you creepy. you are still in control, and it's up to you to find your way out. Right. If you hurry, you might make it back in time for Lucy's funeral. Oh, what an ass. Ah! So here's oh. a flashback I thought you knew. to uh, Brotherhood. At the end of Brotherhood. Oh, God. Spoiler alert. So sorry. Desmond like kills Lucy because a voice is talking to him. Wasn't me. Was that voice? Of course. Juno. Blame it on the aliens. She took hold of me. She made me. Yeah, right. What am I doing? What have I done? Yeah, Desmond, you should uh you should lay low for a while. You're like Steve Carell from uh, Anchorman. You killed a man with a trident. You should lay low for a while. <laughs> Ooh, this is nice and blurry and white and oh my god, my face, my eyes, ouch. Okay. Well, we stepped through the. Ooh, Ubisoft presents. A game by. Ubisoft Montreal. No, I'm not going to do this. I'm kidding. It says like 50 different studios. You know, they got so many freaking studios to work on this game from all around the world. I honestly don't know how they pull it together. Like, how would that work? Do they have some kind of cloud system where they... I wonder where Ubisoft Massive is. It kind of sounds strange. Okay, so we're on six, six studios so far. Um... Ubisoft has grown so large now. Like, okay, six studios worked on this Claudia, game. Claudia, my dearest sister. I have been in Accra a week now, safe and in high spirits, but prepared for the worst. The men and women who have fed and sheltered me here also give me warning that the road to Masyaf is overrun by mercenaries and bandits, not native to this land. Love is accent. What this could mean, I dread to guess. When I first set out from Roma ten That's months beautiful. ago, I did so with a single purpose. To discover what our father did not. In a letter written the year before my birth, he makes mention of a library hidden beneath the stones of Masyaf Castle. Ooh. A sanctum full of invaluable wisdom. That would be Altair's library. So what will I find when I arrive there? Who will greet me? A host of eager Templars, as I fear most strongly. Or nothing but the whistling of a cold and lonely wind. Aw, oh, shit. Masyaf has not been home to the Assassins for almost 300 years now. Badass. And we still claim it for our own. <sighs> Are we welcome <sighs> there? Ah, Good thought. I am wary of this fight, Claudia. 
Not because I am tired, but because our struggle seems to move in one direction only, towards chaos. Today, I have more questions than answers. Oh. This is why I've come so far. To find clarity. Oh shit, who's that kid? <laughs> find the wisdom left behind by the great Altair. Oh, no. So that I may better understand the purpose of our fight. And my place in it. Look at that guy's teeth. Kinda looks like a baby with like teeth that are growing in. Kinda looks a little... Should anything happen to funny. me, Claudia? Should my skills <laughs> fail me, or my ambition lead me astray? Do not seek retribution or revenge in my memory, but fight to continue the search for truth. So oh, that all there's another guy. Fit. My story is one of many thousands, and the world will not suffer if it ends too soon. No. Ooh. Yeah, see? He looks so badass even when he's like 50. I'm assuming he's like a 50 year old man and he is still run around. Oh! Oh! That's how you hang somebody. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, way to go, SEO. Always got a plan, man. Ugh. Assassin's Creed Revelations, November 15th. 2011. Buy our game. Okay. Alright. I know we're about to start the game, but I totally forgot to do this, so. I apologize. I'm so unprofessional. I just don't want those uh, annoying people coming online every two seconds for you guys. Alright. So, this is interesting. So, like, uh, Altair's ghost is like Altair ibn Lahad. Lahad. As of course, um, Ezio's ancestor and Desmond's ancestor. What up, son? Oh, oh, you ready for a fist fight? Oh, oh yeah. Get kicked in the shin. Get effed. Oh wait, oh wait, oh wait. Gotta loot the body. Gotta loot the body. You know, I don't understand. Like, I know I'm complaining right now, but why don't they just have an auto loot button? Why do you have to wait like five seconds? I'm, I'm just impatient. I'll just shut up. Okay. Um, <laughs> Altair's beating me. Does that mean he's better than me? I don't know. I got ahead of him right there. Oh, yeah. Give me some blades. Uh. Okay, that does not work. That is a sexy ass sword. I wonder if that one didn't work. I don't remember it not working. Alright. I'm coming after you, I'll tell you. I'm gonna get you. Hey, guys. What's up? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. You thought. You. You thought. Oh, no. You guys. Oh. Oh. The assassinations. Like, everybody's. Like, ah. Uh, some people reviewed this game and they were like, it's too much like the older games. And I would not change a thing about this, com like the combat, anything about this game, this series. It needs to stay the same to keep its authenticity. Oh look, we're like in synchronization. Ancestors, brothers. We're not really brothers, that doesn't... Eh, your ancestors could be your brothers. Never thought about it that way. Oh, we gotta go around. Around town. Excuse me. As you can tell, I'm still a bit sickly, so if I sneeze, if I sniffle, that's that's the case. That's the problemo, compadres. All right. Climbing is just beast. Oh, we're totally in sync. That was like perfect right there. Good job, Altair. We are awesome. Okay, shimmy, shimmy, shimmy around the castle. Oh yeah. Get assassinated! Oh, that's cool. He jumped on the ledge, but the ledge is gone. Oh, so... Oh, this was from the past. Derp. What am I thinking? I don't even know what I was thinking. Assassination station! I love when you, uh, jump on him. Jump on him! Nah, sorry, I'll tell you. I'm not gonna do the same thing as you. Sorry, buddy. 
yeah, let's jump up there. Or not. See, I mean, if I was able to jump up like that and catch myself by my fingertips, I'd be one badass motherfucker. But I am not. I am not part of this air ancestral history of badass assassins. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. That was badass. How does one know? I saw I also admire this game for their in-game cutscene like ability. Oh! Oh. Oh. Kill a Byzantine Templar with a counter kill. Also guys, when I'm doing this game, I'm gonna try to get 100% uh, sync, but if I don't get it, I'm not gonna restart. Cause that just would not make for an entertaining, just kinda make for a frustrating let's play, I would think. Um, this is definitely a let's play, this is not a walkthrough. Although, for some people, they're like, I only watch walkthroughs cause I like good people to video games. I like to consider myself pretty good at this game, but, or the Assassin's Creed, um, genre. Call it that, I guess. I don't know. Alright. So I'm gonna try and kill all these guys without any of them noticing a dead body. We'll be picking up his bloody corpse before long. Oh shit, he saw me. Why did I do that? What I what can I possibly do from over there? Wow, he's got the shot. Is this guy right here I need to assassinate? Oh, they probably heard this. They're like who made that horrible death noise? I love how that guy doesn't do anything. Oh, oh, oh! You didn't, you didn't see anybody die over here, Mister Sir. Just go back to your guard business. Don't even, not even worry about it. No. Who is jumping above me? Oh, oh! You did not see anything. Nope. What, what is he doing? Oh shit! Oh shit! I'm hiding from you, buddy. I can't see him. Where did he go? Oh, I'm just behind you, buddy. Just, just come around the corner. Come back over here. I won't hurt you. I'm gentle. I'm Ezio. What ya? Rescue and pace, bastardo. It's another thing I love about this game is. The Italian accent. Supposedly, Ezio and Altair's trilogy is supposed to end here. So, um, I don't know what they're gonna do next, but, uh, we'll deal with that at the end of the game. Be merciful, please. I am a working man with a family. Doing what kind of work? I have family. Digging mostly. It took me a year to find this chamber. And for the past three months, I've been trying to break through this door. You've not made much progress. I have not made a dent. This stone is harder than steel. Oh, okay. Without you will. This door is guarding objects more valuable than all the gold in the world. Oh, do you mean gemstones? Ha, <laughs> gemstones. <laughs> there are keys no. here. What are the keys? These Templars found one beneath the Ottoman Sultan's palace. As for the others, I suppose the little book will tell them. Ooh. What book? A journal of some kind. That ugly captain, he carries it with him wherever he goes. Go home. Find work with honest men. Yeah, I got money. Oh, I would love to leave this place. But these men, they will murder me if I try. Pack your tools. Oh yeah, you're going home, buddy. Alright, journal of some kind. Find the Templar captain. Uh, full sink is do not fail a single tail. I will not do that, because... I am Ezio Alditore da Firenze. Which, of course, means Ezio Auditore from Florence. If you don't speak Italian, you know, I kind of expect all of you guys to speak Italian. <laughs> I wish they taught us Italian at my school. I, I like, that'd be my favorite cla uh, yeah, class. I do an entire Let's Play in Italian. I don't know how many views I'd get, though. Because you guys would be like, What the fuck is he saying? I don't speak Italian. All right. The assassin must not get his hands on that book. Yeah, no. When we reach Leandros, we will escort him out of the village. You stay behind and make sure we're not followed. Yeah, about that. 
This guy's gonna lose his job. He's pretty terrible at it. Alright guys, we have reached that moment in time where we will come back with the next part, part two of my Let's Play. Talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please remember to click that like button. It would really help me out, and I will talk to you later. Peace.